Welcome back everybody once again to the Satisfactory Over Explained Let's Play Beginner Guide Tutorial thing here on my channel. Um, thank you for joining me today. Let's jump straight back in. Um, I did do a little bit of tinkering between episodes. Um, I tried to do a little bit of planning, but I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like we're, we're at that point where it's getting a little bit overwhelming when I look at stuff and I'm like, oh God, how are we going to do all of these things? <laughs> so we're going to wing it. As, as we always do. Um, so we're back here. I've added some stuff on the list on the side there. We can say I've got automated fabric. I balanced the modular frames. Fixed an issue I found at the steel factory. I built some new power. Although it's not activated yet. We need, to, we need some technology to help that. Um, added some coal into a dimensional depot. Um, so we'll talk about that as well in a bit. And I made some cool cannons to help us get around the place. Um, but yeah, what the last thing we were doing last time... We'll look at those things in, in due course, but I just wanted to make sure we finished this thing off last time. So we came here, we made like a sort of uh, a temporary um, semi-automated, uh, what's this stuff making? What's it called? Smokeless powder, I think it's called. And it's, a, it's an ingredient in making uh, modern firearms. Very exciting. The poor animals on this planet are in, in for a bad time, I tell you. Um, and I had an idea about whether I could just connect it to this um, thing and let it run and what would happen was this would just run the fuel and power would run at 50% while this thing is running and it did seem to work like that once it was up and working so I've just left it and now the the fuel and power are running 100% again um, so that all seems to be working just fine we'll take out this smokeless powder real quick um, I haven't got any more do I have any do I just keep the black powder in here no maybe I should try and dimensional depot that as well so at least I can easily just pop here every now and again pick some up and drop it off because uh, we will need it to make quite a lot of stuff going forward and I'm not sure if we're going to get a chance to fully automate this um, on this series we'll see we'll see it might be a between episodes thing I end up doing at some point um maybe we should go what should we look out first Automated fabric is probably the first thing to look at, I think. So we'll just hop up on top of this little rock here. And I've got a little launch pad up here. Uh, the reason it's so high up, actually, it's a little bit inconvenient when you're down here. Maybe give it a ladder or something. But if you come from the one I've done over there in the home base, uh, you can fly straight to this one, which is quite handy. This gives us a nice, easy way, especially with our uh, liquid uh, biofuel. We're in uh, such a good state. So here's the power station. It looks really cool from up this high, actually. Um, so I've built this new section over this side, which we need to power up. However, I thought as I was building it, I was all ready to turn it on. Um, but then I realised we need faster pipes. So what I was going to do, you see, was um, overclock this guy. Just dump two of these in, get him onto 200%. And you can do 480 a minute then, which is great. That's definitely what we'll want to do. However, these pipes have a maximum throughput of 300 per minute um, so although it won't matter once it's split that initial split will need to be on a faster pipe essentially right so just like the conveyor belts so either side will be using uh, 240 or less than 300 each so that's fine it's just where we split this coming out of here in the first place we need a bit of a bit of more bandwidth in our um, in our pipe and I might try use some valves to restrict the this fleet uh, speed in each direction as well just to help um, so yeah, we haven't haven't done that. I rejigged this bit in the centre, so we've got like one um, sink now for all the stuff that will be coming out of here. And then I've set up two refineries here, along with the water pump over there. And these guys are going to be making our fabric um, out of uh, polymer resin and water. This guy's already doing it. The other one's going to be fed from the other side. Um, they're just getting a small uh, subsection of the output. I think we're outputting 120 on each side here. Um, so and this only needs 30. So the rest will get sunk, um, but this way we'll have, we've got, we've already got fabric going in and filling up our storage so that we can manually craft with fabric when we need to. Um, so let's head back. There's nothing else here for now. Once we've unlocked this tier, uh, we'll have a look at that in a second, see if we can afford it. Um, and then, yeah, we can get that online and we'll have tons of power then. It'll be great. Right. So we float back this way. Whoop. Loads of slugs around. I'm still just, I'm leaving them for the time being because I've got so many in my storage. Right. Did we do anything up here? No. Uh, yeah, we did. We balanced the modular frames. So just talking about that real quick. 
that was quite a straightforward one in the end. I did all that, you know, we went around and we looked at all the, the ores and think, thought about how much we were producing and stuff. Uh, there was just a bunch of belts that hadn't been upgraded that I should have upgraded. So hopefully, yeah, he's going at 100% now. So that's good. Um, overclocked, making a whole ton of modular frames for us, which is great news. Um, what else did I do? So we talked about the fabric. We talked about the belts. Um, the issue with steel, we'll just have a quick look at that because I did make some further tweaks down this way to that sort of stuff just to help me um, uh, get some extra coal so I've we'll, we'll look at it now I wanted to make sure I've got a bit of extra coal just in the dimensional depot because we'll use it to make filters and I don't think I'm going to fully automate that uh, anytime soon so at least I've got the ingredients all being sent to my dimensional storage so I can just access them really easily uh, where was it? it was over this way somewhere I, I, I noticed this completely by accident, but as I ran past here, so this is our foundry that's making, this is one top layer of our foundries that are making our steel. So we've got a duplicated setup on the top and on the bottom. They're both being fed from the same sort of set of belts in a sort of extended manifold that comes up over two floors. However, what I'd done recently to make our uh, weapons factory, which is over here, um, I just extended this splitter to just go this way as well. But what that meant was that this last um, this last foundry in our manifold wasn't getting enough coal anymore because it was just splitting it evenly between these two things. So I've changed this to now be a smart splitter so that it prioritizes keeping the foundry full at all times. And then any excess is what gets to come out this way. Um, and I did increase the output of the, the miner. So there is a small amount of excess just coming out to feed our nobelisks and keep this car driving around. Hopefully he won't be running out of fuel anytime soon. So that was that one. Um, and I think that's probably it. So let's let's head back home for now. We'll go and see if we can um, unlock those Mark for uh, pipes. Mark two pipes, sorry. <clears throat> and once we've done that, we can get that power station up and running, and then we'll start looking at the next tier. Manufacturing, get some computers made, try and think as ahead as much as we can about what's coming, because I know it gets real complicated. I did have a moment while I was planning and thinking though. So we've got our little circuit board factory there. He's only making 7.5 a minute and I know we'll need a lot more than that uh, soon. I think we might even need more than that for computers. Um, and the, 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 the difficulty with that little setup was of course that he needs copper sheets. So we've set up our little truck route, which is bringing some copper sheets um, and collecting the plastic that this, this little factory needs. Um, but I totally forgot that we've got like not only do I have the pure copper node here that my factory is currently using, um, there's also another one just up on this hill. So there's definite scope for us to just drop that down, extend our, you know, extend our floor into here and just bring that over somehow. Um, <clears throat> I think we might have to definitely think about, we might have to definitely think about that because, yeah, we're going to need more. We're going to need more than one assembler making their uh, circuit boards, I think, very soon. Um, it's something that was making me want to go and search for some hard drives as well because we've got a load of recipes and I haven't hit any of the cool recipes that I had last time uh, that were that helped me make computers a bit more easily and circuits a bit more easily. So we'll see. I just want to make sure I unlock the tier that computers and that are in first before I do that. So that might be a, a little task I do between episodes. Anywho, we're back here. Let's have a look at our tier six stuff. So industrial manufacturing, we definitely want to get. That's going to give us our next sort of level assembler. It takes three or four parts. Very good. Um, and some new products, computers and heavy modular frames. And then these are our next sort of uh, quest items for the um, space elevator. So they're quite tricky. Um, very tricky, if if I remember correctly. I, built, I remember my first save game, I built such an enormous factory for this thing. Um, and it was terrible when I think back on it, but it was an experience for sure. Um, we've got trains, we're definitely interested in trains. We might have to get some trains on the go to sort of ferry in the materials we need to support building some of this stuff. We might try and do that. Um, I just haven't got a concrete plan. I don't like not having a concrete plan. But anyway, we'll just, we'll, we're going to wing it, it's fine. Um, so here we've got our pipelines. These are the things we're interested in. I'm going to select that. 50, oh, we haven't even started making heavy modular frames. I have found some as I've been wandering around. So let's get, let's go for pipeline engineering mark two. Um, have I got, oh no, they'll be in my, in here. 
So let's say I know I found some. Uh, what is? Uh, how did I accidentally paste that into there? Then that was funny. Um, what is going on? I'm, it keeps deleting my character. Something weird is going on with the keyboards. Every time I press A, what is happening? It's like my control and shift keys are stuck or something. What is going on? Please stand by, everybody. Okay, just just did a little pause there to find out what the heck was actually going on. I, I don't know. I, I mashed all the control shift and alt keys together a few times, and it seems to have resolved itself. <laughs> Thanks, Windows. You're really helpful. Um, the good news is we have 65 heavy modular frames, so that's really cool. We'll take a stack of those straight away then so we can pay for this thing. We need to... Oh, we were just down there. Let's go and... We'll take the cannon back down to the... Um, back to where we're making our plastic and rubber. We can grab a whole bunch from the big boxes that are there. And then we can go and uh, get this stuff started and get a nice power station on the go. Right, let's see then. So, one, two, three, four, five of those. One, two, three, four, five of those. We're definitely making a load of rubber for no reason at the moment, but that's... Oh no, this is the wrong one. <laughs> I wanted to take the cannon. Good grief, autopilot. Um, but yeah, hopefully we need, to, I think you use rubber in those heavy modular frames that we're just gonna put into the box now, um, into the hub. So rubber's definitely a part of that, I think. Um, but yeah, generally, I can't remember what else we're using for. We'll have to wait and see, I think. Right, let's hand this in, get our pipelines up, up and running and we will go and get that power station running. There we go. And I think very quickly, I'll just, um, let's clear these things off the to-do list because we've done those. Right, thank you very much, Hub. Maybe we will just put the next one, um, let's activate the next one, just so we've got this ready. And we can keep it keep it in mind what we need for it. It's not that doesn't seem like that much actually. Let's go and get this power station set up first, and uh, it shouldn't take long. It should just be a matter of connecting everything up, and then we should have loads of power ready to go to get all of our manufacturers starting to be built, so that we can make some computers and heavy modular frames. Woo! Oh. I didn't want to land, I thought it was going to kill me. <laughs> right, so let's have a look. We need to, maybe then, do I rotate this this uh, extractor a little bit? I think I might do. We'll just do it very quick. Hopefully we can get away with it without causing too many issues. So if I face him mm, this way, and then we need one of these in front of him. We need pipeline mark two going into that, and that's it. The rest of it can be pipeline mark one now. And then he needs a power wire connecting. Then, oh, it doesn't, that's not the best looking pipe, is it? But I'm gonna just ignore it. Uh, we'll fill that right up, like so. And then, we'll because what I could do... Oops, I did not mean to do that, that's for sure. Uh, can we just, like, semi-hide this stuff like this? Yeah, that'll do. Hidden. No one will, no one will be any the wiser. <laughs> right. Um, so now this guy should be making 480 oil per minute, which he is doing very well. Um, the only issue with hiding this stuff is it's going to make it a bit harder to do this. So let's get rid of these silly floors I've just put here. Um... So hopefully now this guy should be absolutely full. He can hold 600 per minute. This guy should hold 300 per minute. Maybe I won't need the valves. Because that should just be splitting equally effectively is how I'd imagine it would work. It's right in the centre. And look, all these pipes are completely full already. It's great news. Oh, not completely. They're getting there though. They're definitely getting there. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Okay, cool. Let's get some power over here then. 
And then that should be it. Uh, we're going to put you up there. And that should be it. These guys, all of them have just kicked in all at once. Fantastic. And I just need to connect this wire to this one. Because none of these... I don't think these guys are connected to the grid, are they? Oh yes, it is already. I just couldn't see the wire because of the shadow. Okay. Looks like we're in business very quickly. Let's just make sure that this is all looking right. Uh, this needs to be a Mark II belt, actually. This already is a Mark II. Yep. Let's just double check and everything because we had that problem before where the resin was backing up. They look like Mark IIs. I made him a Mark IV just to be safe. <laughs> In case anything gets uh, more crazy here. So we've got loads of loads of stuff coming in. Um, and I think we're good. We're good. Or oh, everybody's, everybody's just running fine, it looks like. Let's check that grid. Oh, there it is. So we've leapt from... From what was it? Where's my mouse? Here. 2,300 to 5,000 something now. So that is... Uh, that is great. That's definitely enough power to keep us going. And now we should have both of these guys uh, doing fabric, which they are. Um, we do have a sort of sink path set up here as well. So once this box is full, uh, we're going to be sinking the excess fabric. Perfect. Okay, look. That's all right. Mission job one today complete. So that's good. Next job then. Let's head back home once again pick up the bits we need on the way for um, this next milestone and then we're gonna have a we're just gonna crack on and figure out what the heck we're gonna build I think we'll just start doing the things in order we've got crystal oscillators to do as well but they are they are hard I do want to do a bit more research before we decide how we're doing those so this is looking cool down here let's just stop off real quick and grab a bit extra plastic Uh, how much am I holding? 99? Okay. Put that back in. Give me 400. Oh, we didn't unlock the bloody gun. That was the first thing we were supposed to be doing. Jesus. Right, let's go and do that as well. Oh, I was hoping we get a nice slide down the stairs then. Alas, no. Oh, what's going on here? Yellow lights. What's going on guys? Why are you idle? Because you haven't got room to construct or something? Hmm. Okay, I need to have a look at that. We'll do that another time. Let me make a little note of it. Uh, that's the rotors screws, I think. So we'll check. I'll need to go and check that stuff again. Good grief though. Right, so first order of business, we were going to do the milestone, but let's make the bloody, the bloody gun we were talking about. So I should be able to do this one. I need rubber and motors, which we should have right here. Am I carrying any rubber already? Nope. Okay. Oh no, we did need a hundred motors. Curses. Damn, that's almost our entire box. But it should fill up real quick again. Right, let's try that again. Ka-ching. Awesome. So now we can make that, and then we unlock some other stuff as well. Ooh, that's a nice one. I might even have enough computers for that. But uh, not, in, not in a mad rush for it, it's fine. So then we've got, look, we've unlocked some other different, some rifle ammo, turbo rifle ammo, sounds real cool. Might have to tinker with that turbo fuel stuff. Get that, try and get that set up, because it'll be cool. You have to spend hard drives to unlock it, though. I always find that a bit of tricksy. Um, all right, cool. Do I have a hard drive, actually? We'll send it off for scanning. Oh, we've got a couple. I'm going to send it. Let's go. Right, see if we can craft ourselves a rifle. Uh, 
and some rifle ammo. It's a bit expensive this one, see, because you need to use the smokeless powder to make the ammo. But you do get you do make quite a lot of ammo in one in one go, so. And this gun is pretty cool. I think we'll just make a, a bunch more. Just so we've got plenty. I can't even remember what, what's one stack of this? 500? Can't be. Here it is. Right, 405 is enough for now, I think. Um, I just thought, sorry, I want to add another note on here, which would be uh, add, uh, add the dimensional to black powder. So it's just a bit easier for me to keep uh, creating more black powder and smokeless powder when I need it. Right, um, so now we've got the gun. Let's equip it and go and test it out real quick so you can see what it's like. So generally, look at that good little animation, checking it out. So essentially, I'm not going to test it on one of the one of these little poor birdies. They're, they're fine. We'll leave them alone. See if we can find some uh, hogs or something. But essentially, we'll do a quick demo here. So it's slightly weaker than the... Um, sorry, it's not much stronger than the pistol. What's it called? The What is the name of that gun again? The rebar gun. But the difference on this is it's sort of fully automatic. So it's a lot easier to actually kill things with this because you can just shoot so, so much faster. Oh, here we go. Like, combat is, is, now, is now solved. It does take a long time to get this gun, but I highly recommend you pursue it if you're getting fed up of fighting the, the bads because uh, they're, the, they're not the most fun of they to fight, let's be honest. It's not like it's... Uh, it's not Dark Souls, is it? Uh, what is this here? Is this Caterium? Oh! Mate, are you kidding? That's so close to home. Could be very useful. Good to know, though. Good to know, for sure. Excellent. Okay, let's now head back, then. We've got that... Oh, we've got enough stuff to do the priority power switch. Shall I just go and do that just to get off that to-do list as well? Let's do that. We did make quite a lot of nice progress on our mam, mam trees last time. Uh, I was very happy about Oh, I wonder if you can shoot that guy. I'm not going to do it because because it's mean. Imagine the, the crash when it would fall out of the sky, though. Right. Uh, was it in this one? No, 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 here. Oh, it's a priority power switch. This is an interesting one that I haven't really used that much. So this gives you like a new screen where when you create a, you know, we talked about the power switch rough briefly before and how it essentially separates each grid either side of that power switch into two new grids. So you can turn one of them off if you want, and then you can look at the power usage of just specific grids, which is kind of cool. Maybe we should play with it at some point. Um, but this priority power switch gives you like a new screen that lets you then name the grids and then rank them in order of priority. So you can put like your power station stuff to be the most important. Um, and then uh, other stuff can be lower importance. And what that means is when your power usage uh, exceeds the threshold, I think it turns off the least important things first so it stops your electricity just blowing straight away you'll keep running like what you can afford to run um but some st the stuff at the bottom of the list turns off so it's kind of useful uh but i've not really oh we're scanning the hard drive so we can't do it fine um but i've not really had much need to use it because because i tend to play the game in the way that we have done we're like like look at it i've got oh wait what's going on Something's going on. Well, I'm glad we had a look. What is happening there? Come on then. We better go and investigate that before we before we do this next uh, milestone. Something ain't right for sure. I can see a few yellow lines over that side. Yellow lines, yellow lights. So maybe there is a problem with how the, the oil is getting distributed. Which is odd. I wouldn't expect that to happen. 
So maybe what we need to do is down tune this guy to do, well no, he's doing exactly the right amount. So these should each be expecting 60, right? So they're all expecting 60, but somehow they're not getting enough oil, I'm guessing. Huh. That is very strange. Why are they not getting enough oil? Like, this guy's getting none. The only thing I can think to try... Let's try something a little different. It's going to be a bit hard to do this tidily as well. What I'd really like to do is maybe put the connection then in the centre. We'll try that. See what di if it makes a difference. Or we'll try valves as well. Let's try the valves. I was going to try that. So let's try that. So with valves, you can do this thing. Where? Where are they? So if we do a valve, it looks like this, right? You can use the mouse wheel to change which way it's pointing. So I want to make a valve here that's only going to restrict the flow of liquid to go that way. Um, which is what it's already doing, I believe. But what you can also do is come in here and say, what is the valve limit? So I'm going to say the valve limit is 240 for this side. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So we'll do one here as well. Oops. Curses. Curses. Like this. And then we'll put this one on a limit of 240 as well. So that should mean now the maximum throughput on each side should be 240. Because the only thing I can think that might be happening is somehow it's getting distributed unevenly or something, which doesn't really make sense to me. They're yeah, still doing it, look, going up and down madly. So let's just check the efficiencies. He's on 100. It's going to be the ones down the far end of each pipe, I know it. Yeah, he's on 52. Oh, span around a bit quickly. There. He's on 53. What the heck? He's on 100%. So it's like from this point onwards, they haven't got enough. What? Unless pipes don't work the way I think they do, and they're not like conveyor belts, you know what I mean? Maybe that, that could be part of it, for sure. If we look this side, is it the same story? Like this guy's on 100%? Yep. And then this guy's on about 50%? Yeah. How strange. Okay, let's try something a bit more basic to tr solve this then. So, all I'm going to do here is... Uh, how do I... Is there a place I can do this that'll look nice? I don't think there is. So, all I'm going to do is directly between... So, we've got four uh, refineries on each side, right? So, I'm just halfway, halfway between them. I'm going to put a, a thing to split it. And then we're just going to, like, turn this a little bit this way. And then bring that over here to join. Where does the... Where have we done it? On the line. So if I do that, I'll delete this one. No, not a valve. Give me some more pipe. So I'll join him there so he's joining in the middle instead of joining at the far end. We'll just try that, right? Just in case that somehow makes a difference. I'm not sure if the water... The, the liquid stuff is a bit glitchy or if there's something I don't understand about it. But... I'm in problem solving mode now, so let's go. This is good uh, good research for the guide. So we'll delete this one. And then I'll try it like this. That doesn't look very good. Oh no, wait, that's terrible looking compared to how I did the other side. Come here, come here. We've got to be careful because we can lose all of our power. Oh, come on, what are you doing? Right. Come on. Please don't let all the power go off. I will be very sad. Right, well, this side's ticking along. Let's have a look. Okay, he's gone up to 65% now. 71%. That's sounding real good. How bizarre that that's all it... Or maybe it was a case of, well, maybe we had to wait a little bit for the valves to do what they were doing. It's, it's hard to know. 
uh, sometimes with this stuff. But because it's related to power, you have to kind of do something about it straight away. Or else, do you know what I mean? Like, if we lose power, we're in big trouble. It's hard getting it all started again. But that side's going. Okay, the last one over there is just kicked in as well. You can just see the smoke started, so that's good. Um, and then let's have a look over here, what we got. Okay, 67%, so he's improved already. He's up 62%, so he's improved as well. We got a power pole, let's have a look. Stable lines now, please. Oh, beauty. Yeah, so how weird. That was definitely something to do with how the, li the liquid works. But what I find baffling about that is when it was just one, you know, when we were only, we had this at half of what it's doing right now and it was only coming out one side and joining at the end, that was absolutely fine. But now that we've done this, it, that doesn't work anymore. Very weird. Could be coincidence, who knows. It seems to be working though, so we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that for now. We'll keep an eye on it though, we'll check the power poles every now and again just to see. It's quite easy to see if there's something wrong. Um, I just wish you could like pin pin that little graph to the top of the screen or something. Do you know what I mean? That would be handy, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's go and pay. Let's, do we need to pick up some more plastic or did I already do that? I did it already, didn't I? Yes. So let's get back home. Get this next uh, milestone unlocked. And I figure out where the heck, how the heck we start on a... Tech, this next crazy set of technology we've got to develop. Um, oh no, I meant to get, sorry, meant to get some cables. We need a thousand of those. One, two, three, four. I think that's enough, isn't it? Oh no, I'm a little bit short. Here we go. We also need 200 motors. And we also need 200 heavy mod frames. Oh, look at this. This is all packed up again. Is this box looking healthy as well now? Oh, we're getting there. Don't quite have 200 yet, though. It's a bit of a shame. But we are producing them a lot faster now. So what I might have to do is just raid the depot for now, just so we can pay for this thing. And we'll just have to live with the consequences otherwise. Oh, and I didn't unlock the priority power switch either. Oh, because the hard drive was scanning. What do we get? Steel rotors. That's kind of an interesting one as well. How do we make rotors usually? Ah, interesting. Because this means... Because you use rate rotors for making motors. And you it's the same ingredients, right, as what we use for making stators. So that means you can make motors using just two ingredients. It's quite... That's quite cool. For sure. I've never thought about that before. Hmm. Alright. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to look at any of it right now. I don't think we need to. Let's get that research unlocked. Where was it? Caterium, I think. Priority power switch. Missing materials. Ah, oh, they're just in my... They're in my special magic pocket, man. Oh god, how many was it? 500, I think. I hope so. <laughs> um, what are those things called again? Automated something? No. What are they called? It's not circuit boards. Uh, uh, High-speed connectors. That's the ones. There we are. Um, da -da -da. Start that research, please. Homing rifle ammo sounds real cool. I'm going to have to try and unlock, unlock that soon. Maybe we do it off, I'll do it off camera or something. I want to know how that works. Uh, power poles, not that bothered. Geothermal generator. This one sounded kind of cool. But what I found is very interesting about this is that the power fluctuates, which seems like wildly like, un, like unhelpful. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because essentially, if the, if the range is 50 to 150, like it says there, for an impure geezer, then, like, I can only really plan for it to be 50, right? <laughs> I, gu I guess you can use batteries and try and, like, 
charge them up and even it out like that. Um, but it's one of those things that makes me think it'd be interesting to play a map where that, that was your only option. Um, that's the only thing I think is a bit of a failure of like how there's only one map and it's like a defined map rather than having any sort of uh, randomization to it. Um, but anyway, that looks kind of interesting. Programmable split is quite good as well. But okay, we've done that. Oh, it's a lovely sunset or sunrise maybe. I haven't been paying attention. What time is it? What year is it? Right. Industrial manufacturing. Oh, I've clocked as well. We, I think I did that one between episodes. The, uh, the versatile frames are finished, so that's good. I don't need to worry about those anymore. Right, so how do we start even thinking about this? So let, first of all, let's... Let's look at a manufacturer, because it is a cool looking building. It's huge. Bigger, better, fix it. Look at the size of a manufacturer. It's insanely cool. So, and he's got loads of little, little guys inside ready to build machines for us. Come on, lads. Um, so they're cool once they're in business, and of course we can learn to use it, and you pick a recipe just like anything else. But let's have a look at some of these things that we've got then. Oh god, we can start automating that now, of course. So there are plenty of things we can be getting on with. I think we're going to leave these for now, but we need to keep them in mind. Because, like... When we come to do... What's caught me out in the past in this, you see, is like... I do things like make the bare minimum computers. Right, which is already hard because I'm not... I'm only make the default recipe for circuit boards, for example, is seven and a half a minute. And this needs ten just to make two and a half. But if we do something like change this to two, does that then... No, how much is it? Is it 75% then? Yeah, so we can make computers at 75% rate by default. 1.85 a minute. But, if you look a bit further up for these adaptive control units, we need 1.5 per minute. It's not actually that bad, is it? So this heavy modular frame is 0.75. What's the default recipe for that? Two per minute. Okay. Okay, this feels more feasible. I think, like, the only thing I'm wary of now is if I build to just fulfill these objectives, um, we can do that. It's just that once we get to the next phase and you need all of this stuff in way bigger quantities it gets a bit hard right so well, that's okay we can we can we can rebuild we can leave room to grow we can try and think about it a little bit so i think we'll start with what should we start with even let's have a look um maybe we'll start with computers because they can go next to our circuit boards that we're already making um and we can give them, and it gives us a chance to, like, I've got to try and figure out a way of actually delivering the plastic to both of these factories. And although I was thinking about, I think we said in a previous episode, something about, like, using truck stops, I won't need to do that if the, if the factories are right next to each other. They can just have a sort of shared storage box that they both feed off of. That could work. Um, so that's cool. We can do that. High-speed connect is kind of useful. What do they need? Circuit, uh, quick wire and cable. These guys are quite good as well. They need some steel though and, and copper to make the one thing. Or we could use iron um, and our, res our old recipes for those. So that's kind of cool. Heavy modular frames are quite intensive. They need a lot of stuff. Look at that. The default is 240 screws per minute. That is an in incredibly large amount of stuff. Like, even with alternate recipes for something like steel pipe, because we've got iron pipe. You know, you've got to make a modular frame which is made up of those things, which includes, you know, like, reinforced iron plates which are made out of something else. This has got steel pipes which are made out of something else, you know. This is encased beams which has got steel beams which is made out of... So There's so many... It just starts cascading like that, you know. Very tricky. But, okay. We're going to do it a bit of time. That's the best way to do it. It does start to get quite overwhelming at this point, I would say, is where the game starts to get really get quite hard. Um, so, but the, the key to it is to just do a little bit at a time. 
Um, and if it doesn't work out, just try and figure out why it's not working and, and do it again a little bit differently. Let's um, get rid of this then. We'll hop down to our new sort of factory area that's just below the cliff here. All right. So maybe we'll keep these in lines because what I'm thinking is maybe they can expand backwards if we need to. Like if we wanted to expand this to make more circuit boards, um, we could keep a kind of similar layout, you know, and just repeat it down the look down the way. Um, maybe alter it slightly. We'd have to probably just end up doing like a manifold thing on the back here. But I think uh, something kind of like that could work. So let's think how am i going to get the plastic out so this guy's already got a full box do you know what i think is a real shame so you can't you can't upgrade a normal box to a massive box i think that's a bit of a shame they don't let you do that well they let us do that with loads of other things so i'm gonna have to pick that up including all of the plastic that's inside it i can just about carry it though so it should be all right um if we can get rid of some of this extra junk i'm carrying that'll help as well don't need those Definitely don't need that. Oh, I was going to put another hard drive onto research, so let's just quickly do that while I'm thinking about it. Is that, is that going? Yes, it is. Hey, truck, don't run me over, dude. Like you did before. So that plastic's coming out at quite a good clip. But look, he is full. Only just, though. So that's quite good. He's not actually using two... Um, how much is he actually using? 30 per minute. And what we make it, we're only making some like 40 per minute, you know. So we are going to have to up the plastic production. Um, but I think that's okay, because if memory serves, I think there is another... There was three oils here i'm sure there was yeah 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 there's one there look so we can tap into this one to get a bit more plastic i might have to like redo this area and make it sort of more uh rigid like tidy i don't know yet we'll have to think about it so we can get all the plastic sort of dumping out to sort of one point and then we can pick it up and ferry it where it needs to go um i could reduce the rubber we're making as well as an option thinking like it so that could be quite good the only downside to that is we make less if we the rubber creates more of the what's the byproduct called again heavy oil residue so that might mess up some other things but meh we'll see we'll see let's um let's start off by just getting the basic layout of our factory down and then we'll figure out what the heck is going to happen so i think for this what do computers need again let's have a look so oof where are we going to get that cable from well we do have the copper at the top of the hill, up by the base. So maybe it's going to have to come from there. So if we reduce this to 75%, like we talked about doing, that is going to use all of the circuit boards we are manufacturing now. And that's the only thing about this approach, you see. So if we did 50% instead, then at least I'm keeping a few circuit boards back for building. I don't actually know if we do use them for building buildings, though, do we? Are they used for anything like that? I don't think so. Let's have a quick look through these. Because you can normally tell if you look at like the highest tier of item you've got. So like manufacturer is the newest thing we've unlocked, right? So he's using plastic. He's not using... I think it must be the next sort of tier of machines again are the ones that start to use the things we've just... You know, like the computers and circuits we're just starting to create now. So maybe we're going to be okay for a while. In that regard. So maybe we do just use all the circuits, like who cares? Like if I don't need them that much, I only needed them for maybe manually crafting some stuff for the map. So let's think about it that way. We'll just dump all the circuits can just come straight out into um into our computer's factory, which is gonna be just next door. So, how do I do this? How do I do this? So we're gonna need several lines in. We're gonna need some copper coming in. God knows where how we're gonna bring that here. I might have to, so the copper's down that way. We could extend this road um, and just set up a little truck stop that goes back and forth. He can go up there and get some fuel, go and get the copper and bring it back. Um, I, or the cable. Or maybe just bring the copper. What do we want to do? Do we bring the copper 
ingots? Do we make the cable and then bring it? There's so many options. I think we maybe make the cable and bring it. Or maybe we make the... No, it's too hard to decide. No, maybe we just bring the ingots. And what we'll do, because then I can make a thing over this side. So where we've got that copper, we'll make like just like a little mini smelting factory. that will just make all the ingots. And we'll send those ingots to places to get used. So... Uh, we'll have a tractor that can bring us some ingots. They'll come in, get turned into wire and into cable. And um, we've got the circuit boards coming out of this place. And then what else did we need? Plastic. So the plastic will be coming out of here as well because we'll just probably replace this or add a splitter or something like that. So some of the, you know, half of the plastic can come this way. Um, that'll probably be a good call. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. I could just use a double box and try and use the... But I don't trust it to always split properly after that weird stuff I've had happen before. Um, so I'll put a splitter to get the plastic. We can put the priority for this to be this way. Overflow can be storage. Um, and then overflow from storage can be sink, I think. Yeah, it'll have to be, I think. All right, so let's think about this. We need a truck stop to drop off our... Um, copper that we bring and i'm just going to leave maybe a gap of like maybe two tiles between the buildings in case we want to put anything there at any point or drive a car down there put some conveyor highway whatever we want to do <clears throat> okay so with this we're going to need a similar sort of thing he's going to be collecting from here only the copper is what's going to come in from this this box so that should be fine um I'm just trying to think, maybe we do this. Let's get the manufacturer down early. Oh my God, come on, Rob, get on top of there. Thank you, sir. So, oh my God, look how enormous it is. It just about fits on two boxes, two tiles. All right, he can go there. That's fine. We'll need... So the circuit boards are going to come across. They're going to be really straightforward. So I'm going to just bring them over and just connect them. I wonder if we, we can even... Is this lined up already? Oh, just qu not quite. That's irritating. Hang on. We do that again. If I put him like here, or maybe even here. So let's think about it. Yeah, because the plastic's going to come the other side. So what I'm trying to line up is this second, uh, this second port here is on this line here which lines up directly with this so that'll be where we bring the circuits then we've got over this side i'll bring the plastic around the side and we can stick that into this side and then out of this way we'll use the top slot out the back of the thing uh the back of this truck stop send the copper ingots this way they can go through some constructors to then give us our cable that we need to do this and that should have us pretty much covered so um let's get let's get to it how do i get rid of everything um Oh wait, I didn't build the bloody... I was on hold mode, that's why it didn't work. Alright, so he can go here, I think. Donk. Okay. So I'll put you there. I might put you there as well. I'll put one there. This can reach all the way into there. Beautiful. And in fact, what I'd like to do, where is he? He's right on the center line. So if I put this guy about here, do that. And all I've got to do now is put a splitter here and then connect these two. Um, can we do, oh, it's not gonna work because it's so close. I don't think it is going to work. Curses. How am I going to fit it? Hmm. That is a bit of an issue. Unless I just destroy this. Destroy this. We'll put it a little bit further back. Like right here. I'll... Oops. Put all that plastic back inside. Keep them on a little bit for me. Um, and then if we connect this up. The same speed cable as before. Uh, conveyor belt as before. 
Now this is the bit that I'm not seeing how this is going to work. Like if I put it that close, can we actually do a conveyor belt? Oh, apparently so. Yeah, see, this is not going to work no matter what I do. It's too close. Oh, we've made it too small, lads. I need more room. The only thing I can think to do is maybe that we just shift this storage to go that side. Which could work, actually. So if we delete this again, what we'll do is we'll say this. Oops. Uh, let's get rid of that. Leave this guy here. Maybe not leave him right there. We put him... Is that in line with that? It must be. And then we'll put... This guy can just feed straight into this smart splitter. He will do any forwards and overflow this way. And what we'll make sure it does is it just fills this machine up as quick as possible. And then the out overflow can go this way into a different storage box. I think it's the only thing that makes sense right now. Um, without completely redoing it all. So what we'll do here is if we delete this real quick, we can put in a big storage container, because I, I know it's the high level too high. No, it looks about the right level. So I'll put you there. Then what I should be able to do is copy this. Oh, look, there's some plastic coming in right now. Wait, copy that. Come this way. And they can go into there, and that's where my buffer for the plastic is now instead. The only thing is, yeah, this is going to mess us up because we're not going to have enough plastic buffered. Oh, I suppose he's got 200. It should be ample. Um, I'll keep an eye on it. If it gets if it gets bad, we'll have to try and rejig this a little bit um, and make it so that we can store a bit more plastic here. I think we should be okay for now. So there we go. Looking here, we've got our circuit boards are going straight over to the computer already. Uh, the computer's manufacturer already. So that is fantastic news. This guy can just now feed into there. So that'll give our plastic to the manufacturer as well. So that's two ingredients down. Uh, plastic check, circuit board check. So now we just need to go and get. Um, oh god, I've got loads of this stuff still. <laughs> So why don't we just give them some of this stuff that I'm carrying for now and we'll go and dump all of this spare plastic into this box. Um, right, looking at this, because thinking about this as well, this circuit board situation, I could probably get rid of this storage now. If all the circuit boards are going to just get fed straight into computers and not be kept for storage, we don't need this. You know, um, so maybe something for me to do off stream. I'll tidy up a little bit and just check that it's working properly. Uh, it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing to get right. Um, okay, so let's think about the copper. I think we're going to have to. Let's just extend this floor first. Might have to go up the top and get some more concrete. Because uh, how much concrete have I got? Basically none on me. All we've got is what's in the dimensional storage right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go and we'll boost up the top, go and grab some concrete, and I will walk over. I think it's where all those gassy, gassy guys are over there. That's where the uh, pure node is. So we'll go and have a look. Oh, and I just need to double check that power again as well. Oh, a lovely clear weather today. It's looking great up here. Oh no, it's not even as far as the gassy guys. It's just by here. Beauty. I did mean to get some blinking concrete, though. Let's go and pick that up straight away. Oh, I forgot to colour this guy. That will not do. There you go. Right. Give me some concrete. Probably about... How many have we got now? Three stacks? Four stacks, please. Look, our floor's just down there. I might actually cheat and turn the... Let's turn the fog off for a minute. Uh, just so we can see. Oh, there we go. A lot better. 
so it's here we can hopefully just extend the floor like around stuff um well we could definitely extend the floor around stuff just trying to see like which which way might be the best way i think it's going to be around the opposite side of this thing we'll do it so we can extend that road that we've got the tractor going up and down the only thing i'm worried about is how they turn around we need some sort of like roundabout or way for them to cross the i've done like some weird things like that before they look terrible but they worked so that's what we're probably going to do come on So, whew, that's a long way down. Just trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. Let's see. So if we put, let's get some foundations down first. Okay, and then can we get our miner on top? Mm, do we need it to be a Mark II? I'm not even sure. Let's have a look at the recipe again. We were going to make it at 75%, I think. So I'll use all of our circuit boards. So we need 15 cable per minute. Oh my god, that's, that's barely any. That's barely anything. I wonder if we can afford to just take that off, off of this constructor. Off to this, sorry, miner. So, what's he on? This is just a minor Mark 1, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's nearly at 120, look. He's at a very peculiar amount, isn't he, actually? So maybe I'll just leave this one alone. <laughs> and we will just do it off the new one. Um, just to keep it separate and easier to manage. But we only need, like, a very small amount. Um... Oh, come on, fingers. So we only need 15 cable a minute for this recipe. So that's actually not as bad as I thought at all. That means we need 30 wire per minute, which I think only needs 15. Yeah, we only need 15 copper ingots a minute. So that is quite a low amount. Um, and what I think we'll do is we'll just, we won't do any other processing up here. We'll just ferry all the ore down a big lift to the bottom um, where there'll be some smelter set up and we'll bring this floor over to do that. Um, and then eventually maybe that'll turn into a huge copper smelting area. Um, and we can get all of our copper from there because we've got this completely untapped node. It'll be very, very handy. Uh, we just get a bomb in this spot here. See if we can clear some of this crud out of the way. That's better. All right, let's get ourselves a Mark 1 miner for now then. Uh, you can face this way, I think. No, because you're not straight. Hang on. Let's do that again. Face you this way. And we'll bring his conveyor this way. Am I able to do lower than this? No, but that's all right. We'll just stay at this level, I think. So we go like this. And this is my preferred technique for doing this sort of stuff. Switch yourself into vertical build mode. And then we'll just hover off the edge. We'll try and get it on the bottom edge. Come on, come on. And then we should be able to just go like this. Oh, it's not sticking out far enough, look. Okay, there we go. How about that? Perfect. Oh god, I've just realised we've only got 19 fuel left. <laughs> and watch out for that. Wow, this is a long way down, actually. So we'll do that all the way to there. I don't, oh, we obviously don't need to go that low down. But... That gives us our starting point. Now I can go over here and get this guy and extend it that way. That's why we needed so much concrete. So I think we'll get rid of this wall because this road might end up going this way as well. And if that happens, I don't know what we're going to do. I might have to try and build a roundabout. We'll see. Um, I've never done a roundabout. This is a bit hard because there's no, there's no, I've seen people make stuff with nice round edges, but it's just a little bit too fiddly and annoying for me to bother with, if I'm honest. And you always end up with like weird, like lots of clipping and stuff like that. It doesn't look very good, I don't think up close, all those little fighting textures. Right, okay, so we've extended our road and the sort of pathways on either side, so that's nice. Uh, how close does that bring us? Oh, not too far, look. Okay, let's just keep going in blocks of 10. 
Oh wait, am I on two meter? I'm meant to be on eight meter. Oh well, never mind. So this looks like it's the one that's in line with it. There we go. I don't want to take this floor too much more that way because I don't think anything else will sort of line up with it. But this is fine for now. We can have a huge conveyor lift coming down here. Um, I did talk about a while ago, you may remember, dear viewer, um, a way to sort of cheat the conveyor lifts and make them infinitely long. And I have done that once before, but I'm unable to do it again and I don't understand why it doesn't work. So we'll have a go at doing it. I'm pretty sure all you're supposed to do is just... Uh, you effectively do like a, a hole up there Start your lift here, climb the ladder, point the lift out in the hole, and then it just immediately joins. But the last time I tried that, nothing, mate. No luck. Um, this is a huge, huge ladder we've just built. But I think we need to... Yeah, let's go and do this ladder. We'll just get this conveyor lift coming down. Let's see if we can get these uh, computers on the go. Looks a bit silly, doesn't it? That's a bit better. Right. Um, so, do I try and do the, the really long conveyor lift thing? Why not? Let's try and make it work. So, so, the way I've seen it is, essentially, we go like this. Where's our... Um, where are our conveyor lift holes? So we have one of these like this, and then essentially, I should be able to... Because if you do it this way, it definitely doesn't work, right? So if I can... Oh, where's my wrong thing? But if we select like this, and then I just drop down, you'll see, it eventually just stops. Like, so that's, that's the maximum length it can be. So the idea I've seen is, and the way I've definitely done this before, you sort of just, you start it in a different way. Like, so you put it here, and then I go up. And then when I point my mouse cursor at the hole at the top, it's just like it bypasses the restriction. But when I've tried it recently, it didn't work. Oh wait, there we go, it is doing it. It is doing it. But they're not lined up. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, okay, hang on. Let's make sure. I put it too close to the wall, I think. Oops. It needs to be, is that one click out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is it going the right way? I don't think it is. I think it's also going the wrong way, isn't it? Because I want it to be coming out at the bottom. Right. I think this is going to do it. I think. Let's find out. Come on, mate. You got this. Whoa, accidentally jumped off. There we go, it's working. It's a little bit out of line still. That's quite annoying. Ooh, that is a, a huge lift. I'm not even sure which side the object's gonna go. I hope it is the inside. Um, what the heck? That looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Right, there we go. That's our input now, sorted. So let's just get a nice simple conveyor belt. We'll bring him round. Oh, look at that. That snap line was showing up from all the way over here. It's very rare that it's that useful. But thanks, mate. And what I think I can do is I can probably just delete this square if I want. We'll leave this conveyor lift hole here to make sure that it works. Um, but maybe what we'll do, let's just turn this on. Uh, we need to get some power up here. Oops. What happened there? Did we get that power? Yes, we did. So we'll just let him go at default rate for now. We'll come fiddle with the numbers afterwards. So he's going to be spewing out. Well, he can't do 120 on the belt we've put, so we'll put him down to half. 
we definitely don't need that much. I think we only need 30 or something. So there's our giant lift. It's going to bring everything all the way down here. And then down here, what am I going to do? I'm going to make just the ingots, we said, wasn't it? So let's try something like, we'll just use maybe our blueprints that we've got. Just to speed this up a little bit. So here's our smelter. Get rid of that. So if we'll put it like, maybe this way. I'm trying to think what's the best way to do it. Yeah, because I think if I do it this way, I can bridge them off. I could do a row this direction, and once we eventually use more of this uh, node up here, I could bridge them in this direction as well. Um, so let's do it like that for now. I'll put one. I think I only need two. Not even that, do I? I think I just need one smelter for now. Let's just put two, just for visual reference. <laughs> So I know what that's what the plan is eventually, is to do that. Um, and then here in the middle, let's try and be a little bit organised with it. And what we'll do is if I put some of these here. Now, do I need this here? I don't think I do. So it must be this. I wondered what this blue line was, and I think it's because it's snapping with the centre of this whole blueprint. Because uh, the blueprints have a tendency to sort of snap to each other. Which is useful, of course. Um... Right, come here. So you can go into this one. Like that. And we'll connect you to that one, why the heck not. And then these are the outputs. And then what I want to make sure, we might add more on in the future, of course. But for now, we're just going to loot them out. Back to this main concourse. And that's why I've started putting the um, uh, conveyor poles there. Because we'll just use this as a sort of guide for us to get out and our finished products can go on the top or an upper level rather than the bottom level so come here you uh come to about here get up on there all like so sweet so there we go so this should now be bringing these guys in they just get to work in there that's going to make our ingots for us We'll ship them to the front, and we need to have, I guess, a truck stop at the front now as well. Get these roads built in. The only thing I'm worried about, like I said, is the trucks uh, having a bit of a, a moment getting stuck on each other. But we move, let's just see what happens. Build it, and then problem solve afterwards is probably the best approach, I think. Right, truck station. Oh, we never looked at the Explorer. I've just thought, seeing him there. Uh, can I line it up like that? That looks good to me. So we'll put him there. These guys, I'm just going to triple check again. I'm pretty sure I only needed 15 cable a minute for these computers. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it's 20 by default. But we wanted 15. And that's half of this, so we need 30 wire, which is exactly what we make from 15 ingots. So we really don't need much. So, okay, let's let's try it out then. So we only need to make 15 ingots. So for now, let's do something real funny. We'll just make this guy make 7.5. And the other guy's going to make 7.5 too. Okay, so they both make a 7.5. That should give us the 15 ingots we need. It's going to come along this belt. We need to power it up, actually, and get it started. Let's just do that straight away. Um, how am I going to get power here? Let's see. Where's my last big power wire? There, right? Oh, it's a bit of an annoying placement. All right, let's just run some basic power lines down this sort of pavement thing we've got going on. Okay, that'll do. So he's powered. We just need to get some power down to 
to our factory as well. Actually, let's just do it this way. Um, do do do. Okay, cool. So these guys are running. They only need 15 copper or a minute. So let's go and just change this miner so he's only producing the right amount. And we'll start setting up a tractor route. And then another tractor stop. Sheesh. So many, so many logistics just in like one, making one thing. This is just the beginning. It's just going to get crazier from here. So we only want to make 15 per minute. Seems wildly small amount but that's fine right cool so here we go we got any yay there's our first ingots coming so that's great news let's uh whoop. get them in here nice so here we go this is going to start filling up with ingots which is exactly what we want so this is a load stop which is also what we want Let's get ourselves a little tractor. Um, I'll throw some fuel in him if we can. There you go, mate. Have that. So this guy's going to just drive down this road nice and easy. Ignore this first stop. We don't want to go to that one. We will want to stop at this next one, though. So he's going to tuck in like this. How the heck am I going to get him to turn around here, man? It's so what I've done before is I've built a little structure. I'll, I'll demonstrate the little structure to you right now. Uh, how do we get out? There we go. It goes a little something like we do. <laughs> we just do like, uh, where is it? Where's my ramps? Essentially, I just do a ramp like this. And then I just do skinny blocks across the top and then I ramp the other side. So they can just come up, go across and go back down. Uh, we might be able to get away with it, actually. Should we try? I'm going to have to try something anyway. Uh, one meter, I think. Do him across the... Oh, the truck might not be able to get underneath now. The truck is quite tall. Have to remember that. So maybe we do another ramp. This feels like we're really winging it. But I love it. Well, let's just build him over as far as he'll go. Yeah, because I can totally wing this, because we could just literally just drive the truck off the edge and it would probably be fine. <laughs> For a route, like, you can do this. Like, I've done stuff like this before, and it just works when you record the route. Like, so we can just come up like this. At least they're not going to cross paths directly now. And this guy can just go like this. And now he's back on the route and driving the correct direction. So maybe we'll just even do it that shonkily for today. Um, if it works, mate, it works. Who cares? Right, so this guy... Needs to be an unload stop. Is he powered? Not yet. Okay. So that's fine. Maybe we'll uh, power him up and just record the route and we'll start bringing our iron here and then we can figure out where we're going to take it. Um, so where's our power? So we've got this line going this way. Let's see if we can bring it this way as well. Wire is too long. Right, so that's him set up. Well, let's give it a name. Because I always forget to do that. Uh, drop off. So that's our computer drop off. So let's just quickly then, let's record a route for this guy. Start recording. Unload cargo. And we'll get up here real quick. We'll do our little chaotic drop down. Here we go. Whoa, 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 what is that little move? We've just, oh, oh, it does bug me when that happens. Right, that's why these little tractors have got such bizarre little bouncy handling sometimes. Very unusual. Right, we'll try again, we'll try again. A little bit of a wait baked in there. I think it does actually record how long you wait for. Because there's been times where I've jumped out to like build something while doing a route before. 
Um, and it definitely sort of, when you go and check, it's like wait time 78 seconds or something bizarre, you know? So we'll go up this way. Hoping we can just cut straight across here without too many issues. We'll have to hope for the best if it, I'll have to make a little flyover or something. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's why I hate the, the cars. Their pathfinding is so wonky. Now we pick up some iron. Oh, I forgot to get... No, no, no. We've done this wrong. Stop recording. We'll go and start again. We'll get fuel because that's what avoids us having to cut across the path. As if we just follow the entire one-way system. Really, I should record the other guy again so he goes across, around the whole road. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It just seems long. Uh, right, start recording. Let's go. We can actually drop some copper in this time. Have some cop copper, lads. Lovely. So then we'll go up here. Make this tiny turn. Drop off the edge. Now we need to go and get some petrol. Hopefully without deadlocking, that's what I'm worried is going to happen. So if I do this without going too close to the actual end of the road, it should be okay, I hope. So if we turn about here and come in here to get some petrol, that's filled us up to 100, thank you. And we go this way. And we can turn this way. anything to give me? No. All right. Did a little double stop there, but that's fine. There we go. Right, let's see how he does on that little route. Come on. You have a little moment. They love having a little moment like this. Come on. Where are you going? I want to check that your route's working, mate. Give him a moment. Dude. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's see how he does our little bridge stunt. Come on, mate. Don't let me down. Hey, that's not bad, is it? A little wheelie at the end. Good job. And off he goes. So he'll be back in a minute with some more copper copper ingots for us. Right, so we need to feed those out of here. Do some constructor action on them. So we worked out that we needed, what, 15? No. Yeah, it was 15 a minute. And I'll line him up like that. So this one constructor should be easily enough to handle it. Uh, so you're going to make cable at 15 per minute, which is 50% clock speed. Nice. He's going to need a uh, constructor feeding into him, the wire that he needs for that. Which well, could probably just fit here, to be honest. Okay, so you're making your cable. You need to be making wire at 30 per minute. That's correct, yeah? Yeah, lovely. So we can make that at full speed. He's going to get 15 copper ingots. They're going to come from there. That's the only tricky part. So maybe we just feed them around this way. Do I need to... I don't think I want a storage box for them, actually. I'm just going to sink any excess. Because um, it should fill up, you know, with um, 100 eventually if there's too much coming oh let's just check this working it looks like it's working hey good job lado come here let's uh, save your route um and we'll call this uh copper bar run one i'll do i'll get out of you oh god my mouse my mouse is stuck yeah that's a bug that happens sometimes when you get out of the car oh dear he's really freaking out i'm sorry mate He'll sort himself out. Right, let's um, bring some of this out of here. By 
but I don't actually want to do that. I was about to just connect it straight up, but what we'll do is smart splitter it. Uh, coming in from that side. Perfect. You can go like that. This will be uh, any. Now this will be, which is on a, any. So, oh, which way is it facing? So straight is overflow. That's right. And right will be any. Our copper should go into there now. And that's cool. And then otherwise, this is just going to overflow into another sink, I think. Oh, wait. How much room was I supposed to be leaving? I was supposed to be leaving a line of two, wasn't I? And I've built all this stuff here. Oh, dude. Never mind. <laughs> We're supposed to be leaving a gap. Um, but we move. I hope I don't want to move it again. I'll move it all later, but we'll see. And then this way is going to be overflow. I won't connect it up just yet until we've powered everything up. Or else all of this tasty copper is going to go. I don't want to waste it just yet. So you can come in. I'll put you there. Okay, so that's it. These guys should be going now. He should start filling up real quick. Maybe we should do the same thing as before, where we've <clears throat> we upgrade these belts to make sure that they empty uh, whatever we've got as quickly as possible, and then we will just sink the rest into here. Get that powered up. There we go. That should keep us going. I'm hoping this is going to be enough now. Is he starting? <gasps> First computer's being manufactured, everybody. That is good news. Uh, we just want to bring this down to 75, like we discussed, so that we're only using 7.5 circuit boards. Using 30 plastic a minute for that. So I think we're just short on plastic by about 10, right? So we need to go and make sure we do something about that as well. So maybe we'll just leave this to run for a minute before we do anything else. Um, just to make sure it looks like it's working. I'm worried the circuit boards are all gone, but at the same time, there's, it's absolutely filled up with them. So that's fine. Uh, great. And I was like, what's going on here? Any and any? No, 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 we don't want that. That should be overflow, please. So overflow should go that way. Oh, I forgot we were going to sort this out as well. So what we really need to do here is some sort of operation where priority is making going to computers. Secondary is storage, which is what this smart split is going to represent. I do wish you could just do an overflow two sort of thing. Because you can set two things to be overflow, but what that does does then what that does then is just make it function like a normal splitter um, to both of those outputs. But I wish you could just say like this is rank two uh, overflow sort of thing. It would just make things so much easier. Rather than having to build two of these things all the time. So <clears throat> so this one uh, no not any. I want it to be none. Let's see. So we're coming in this way, so right is gonna be any and left. It's going to be overflow. And then this left overflow path needs to connect up here. To go in there. There we go. So if we really have completely full of circuit boards, they're going to get, um, they're going to get sunk. But cool. Okay. Um, and they should be being used at the same rate that they're being created. So we shouldn't need like a buffer on this. Um, we've got one. Just in case, you know, and a sink, very unlikely it'll get used, but it's there. So this should be just ticking along just nice. Let's make it a little storage box for it to output into. Um, yeah, I don't know if we need a... Where do computers get used next? They get used this stuff. We might use them in the control unit things. 
I can't remember. So we'll just put them in this box for now. That's all we'll do. There's no way we're going to fill that box anytime soon. So uh, that's cool. Right. Just thought, let's put the fog back on because it's looking very dark. There we go. It's such a different feeling, isn't it, when the fog's on? Um, so computer's going. It, computers are going. He's running at nearly 100%. I think it's because he's only just kicked in, and his cable, the cable is a little bit slow, it looks like. But it should be pretty much bang on. We'll just watch it a minute, and we'll see what happens. Come on, by the time you get to full, we should have 16 cable in here for sure. Come on. Where's that 14th? Where's that 15th? Yeah, tiny gap. Hopefully that's going to uh, smooth itself out. Because he's going 100%. And he's going 100%. So... They should be all good. Good work, little, little truck. You keep going, mate. So the other part we needed to make sure then was just make sure we're producing enough um, plastic. Because I don't think we are. And although we've got loads stockpiled at the moment, I think it will just be an issue if we don't sort it out straight away. So, all I'll probably do for now, what have we got here? The package fuel's being done. Probably, mm, can we reduce the production on the package fuel? Maybe not. What I'd prefer to do is do the power because we don't need this power over here anymore, really. Um, I could probably do something more useful with it, but I haven't thought about it yet. So for now, let's just change. We've got two um, two refineries here, one making plastic, one making rubber. So if we change this second one to make um, plastic as well. So he'll start doing that now, almost immediately. I just need to connect his output to this uh, line here. So if, wait, wait, I don't want to delete that. Yeah, that's fine, we can delete it now. Uh, let's just get one of these guys on here. Put him there. And then what I'll try and do is hopefully it'll let me put a merger. Yeah, beautiful. So just as a pro tip, you hold... If you point at the thing, it shows it on the line. Like, it'll, it'll snap it automatically if you mouse over the conveyor belt. Um, and then you can hold control to make it snap. Uh, so that's what I did there was it doesn't really snap by default when you're doing that sort of conveyor belt placement. Um, but cool. So there we go. We've got extra plastic coming now. So now we've got more than enough plastic being made. The only difference is that this has now changed to only 10 being output. This is also only 10, which means this guy needs to adjust to only accept 20 per minute, which is about, what is that going to be? Oh, 33.333 it looks like. Here we go. And then we just change this guy to expect um, 13... What's that going to be? 66.666? Yeah, yeah. Cool. There we go. So those are all balanced out now. Um, and in fact, how's our power production looking? Oh, we turned off completely for a moment there. A little troublemaker. There we go, that sounds kicked back in properly, so that's feeling like it's all good. We've got extra plastic being made, so now we're making... Um, now we're making... what is it? Sorry, I knocked my headphones up. Uh, 20 plus 20 is 40, plus another 20 over here is 60. So we're making 60 plastic a minute. I think we're using uh, 30. So were we, oh, maybe I didn't need to improve it then. I'm just thinking, because I think we're using 30 in these computers. Let's go and see. But never mind, we've got more than enough now. Um, so let's see, what do, the, what do the circus boards need? Oh no, they need 30 per minute. Damn. How many do the computers need? 30 per minute as well. So we're making 60 now. So we're making exactly enough. There we go. Great. Um, okay, so I guess, oh, I love the fast conveyor belts, they look so cool. 
And it looks like it's working just about right, because I don't think I saw any go into the sink just that time. And it's always just, just about full. So that is brilliant news. The speed he's, uh, he's working at, I'm happy with that. Um, I wonder whether we can just do a little, make that look a little bit nicer. There we go. Um, so we've got our funky little ramp there to help our tractor do a really cowboy turnaround. But hey, if it works, it works. That's our motto. So now maybe we should just look at what's next then. Let's build another manufacturer. How much time have we got? Half an hour. Oh, it might be a bit of a squeeze, this one. But we'll, we'll, we'll definitely make a start. And I think we're going to start on heavy modular frames. Because we've make, we're making a bunch of this stuff already. Uh, but we are already using some of it. I think the only ones we're not using is the encased industrial beams. This is a big project making this stuff, man. We've got so many bits and pieces to think about. What do we make modular frames out of again? Okay. So we could do this almost entirely, oh no, because we still need steel for this. It's the kind of thing that's making me think we need to go somewhere else to find the materials. Because I don't want to start poking around with this stuff. You know, I think we're already using all of our steel beams pretty much. We're already using all of our steel pipes pretty much. I think the encased industrial beams are only, well, I can't even remember what they're being used for. Let's go and have a look. They're being used for something, I'm sure they are. Let's have a look at this. Right, so where are our encased beams? Here, right? Yeah, so we got absolutely loads of them. We're making six per minute, which is not enough, by the way. <laughs> and they're going on this belt, which is going over here. Where are you going? Oh, that's just excess getting sunk. That's it. That's the only thing we're doing with these at the moment. It's just sinking them, it looks like. So, six isn't bad. Six is quite a good amount. I just don't think we've got the stuff to support it. To support what else we need to do. Because like, I need to get more steel. Um, or, just generally, we need to create some of that other stuff. Like, we need to make more... We need to make... Um, steel beams, we need to make a bunch of wire, we need to make a whole bunch of screws. I mean, around here, there's just not the resources. Now, the, the one place that springs to mind for me is there was a place on, on the map that I know from a previous save. Roughly around here, I think it is, there's like a little beach that's got coal on it. There's some pure iron nearby. It's where I had a coal power plant on a different save. And I think that would be a cool place to make steel if we're going to make more steel. There's also lime there for us to make encased industrial beams. So the question is, do I just make a new factory over there? Like a completely separate factory that's just going to make this stuff. We could do that. We could definitely do that. Maybe we'll just go and scope that out for the rest of this episode. That's what we're going to do. We'll leave everything else just ticking along. Hopefully everything's fine. Um, I do feel a bit bad that we've got all those encased industrial beams here just to, just getting sunk and being put in storage. But yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cry about that for now. We'll leave that as it is. So, what's the plan for getting around here? So we've got all this knobbly terrain. I think it might be time to think about building a train track. But maybe not today, because let's think. Am I going to build a factory here and just make all the stuff there? Or do you build sort of production, like low level production here to make steel, make iron, make whatever, and you ship all of that back here? Because then that gives you more flexibility, I think, because ultimately you can increase that production put it on a train or a truck or something and bring it back so and put and send it somewhere else you know like so you might be bringing 100 steel ingots for first but later you can bring 200 300 and send them to different places so hmm, i'm not sure i think for now we'll just do an on foot recce we'll get where's our nearest power line to this place i think we've got we've got some up here look because i think the direction we want to head is almost due west yeah yeah which is that direction so let's go and uh we'll hop on these 
uh, power lines and we'll go and have an explore. Oh my god, the fog. What is going on? That was very strange. Now, using power lines to explore is one of my favourite ways to do it because it does mean uh, we get to immediately have power wherever we stop, <laughs> which is very good. Um, so what, that's what, exactly what we're going to do. We'll take this guy, I think, and extend him out since he's already nicely facing the right direction. Um, and we're not going to sweat doing it too neatly or tidily. We're just going to hoof it on over and see what we can find. On top of that. Oh, that doesn't feel that far though. Oh look, we do one right in the middle of all these these gas guys. Let's do it. Usually when we do this, we're high enough up not to get gassed, but not guaranteed. Yeah, perfect. Um I'm trying to reckon oh I'm starting to recognise it. I think right over there is where I started. I had a base, and uh, my base was on my last save. So this is the big outcrop where the Caterium mine is. So let's try heading. I can't remember what's the best way to get there from here. Look at the map quick. So there's like, I remember there's like a beach, but I don't think this is it. I think it's more down this way. So we'll, We'll keep to the sort of left of the higher up bit for now um, and see how we get on. See how far we can stretch him. That's too long. Oh, you can go on there, that'll do. Oh, I just spot a little bridge I built at one point when I came exploring around here. Um, yeah, and I think it's actually this bit here. If we can get up to there, that'll be very close to where I'm thinking about. So let's keep going. Pretty confident that is it. Quite a satisfying uh, set of power power lines as well because they're almost exactly straight. I like that. We can get there, can't we? What's that there? That looks like some lime. Oh, this might actually be the bit I was thinking of. So let's um, park ourselves up here. Because if this is the bit... Yeah, yeah, there's an iron node there. And I think... Yeah, there's a bunch of them. So this is the, the bit, I think. So we've got a lime there. Let's have a look real quick. Scan for some ore. Got some iron right next to us. Pure, pure. Oh my god, they're all pure. I did not realise that. A whole bunch of iron over there as well. That's fine. We're not interested in that. We go a little bit further then. I think there's so there's one lime just behind us. But there's also one over that way, if I remember right. Yeah, he's just yeah, yeah, you could just about I'll zoom in. It's just right there in the center of the screen. And then down around the corner there is a beach with uh, some coal on it. So I think the approach we're going to take is probably going to be to start ferrying it all down to the beach. Where we'll build some sort of transportation which is going to take it back to where our main uh, infrastructure is, I think. Or maybe not, I don't know. I think, I think what I'm scared about doing is I don't want to do like we've done in our home base, which is I've built up 
the production of stuff really close to the um, ore nodes, which just makes it really hard to expand what you pull out of the ore nodes later. That's probably one of my biggest lessons, I think, is you, you need to give everything space. You definitely you need just loads of room, man. Loads of room. So maybe we'll stick this guy on the edge like this. So there's some more iron there. There's that um, line we were looking at a minute ago. If we go down this way, I might just blow this tree up. Sorry, nature. Um, just so we can extend this sort of down this way. Lovely. And then, yeah, we've got a couple of nodes here. If I remember right, these first ones are impure. And then the other ones are normal. Where are the other ones? There's one on the top of a little cliffside just over there. And there's one down on the beach. So I think if we... Mm, if we do this... Look, we've got all this room here where we can build onto the water and make a, a nice flat road that goes around the outside. Around the outside. Um, and that'll loop all the way back around to where, where home is. Yeah, this is going to be a big mission, lads. I might start... I'll start... We'll start doing it now. We'll, we'll keep going for a little while. Um, as is our one. We've got 20 minutes. We'll see what we can we can create in that time. Maybe... I'm just trying to think what's the best idea for it now. Maybe we will... So we need the lime to make concrete to make encased industrial beams. So I'm thinking essentially we'll just stick a miner or two on here. We need to work out first like how much stuff we actually need. That's a good point. Just as a rough level um, so that we can uh, make sure we've got enough miners um, and we're getting enough raw materials. So, heavy modular frame. In fact, how many heavy modular frames do we need for that again? One per minute. And this recipe will make what? Two per minute. Okay. And these, again, like a, like a lot of things, become like a normal building ingredient. So you need them for building, like, your later uh, power stations, your later constructors and things that we're still yet to unlock. Um... Oh god, we're going to need so much iron. So this is the kind of point where I would use, um, these days, I would use a tool to help me calculate this stuff. Because uh, at a glance, it's so hard to know, like, how much iron I need. You know, you have to do so many calculations for this. Um, I think it's a little bit unreasonable. I'm, I'm surprised they don't have a way in the game to let you do this. Because, like... Essentially, what you have to do is click through each thing, go, right, I'm going to use this recipe. I need, I know I need 240. So that would, 250 is my closest approximation. So I'll need five guys making this. So I need five times 12.5. That's one part. All right. Or you see, have I even got, no, I haven't got, I'm not prepared to do it. We'll do it in the next episode. We'll get the, we'll get the thing up to try and, um, the tool and I'll show you how we use it but okay so let's say we're gonna have like um so we're gonna have five cast screws so and that needs so that's 12.5 times five i'm not gonna do the actual sums yet um so that's that's that one so what else do we need what are we looking at oh my god this list is so so big so that's our screws. We can make them completely out of iron. We could also do iron for the steel pipes because we've got iron pipes, I thought. Did we not? Yes. Um, and I wish there was a back button. I think I've said that before because it's so annoying that I can't just quickly go back to the last thing I was looking at. Um, so we need 40 pipes per minute for this recipe. So to make 40 pipes per minute, I can either make some steel I mean, we're going to be making steel here anyway, but it might be easier if all the all steel, steel goes straight towards encased beams. And we've got pure iron. You know, we've got so much iron here, we might as well use the iron, I think. So I can make 50 if I have two constructors. Um, and they need that'll be 200 iron per minute. That's quite a lot, isn't it? But that's what we need. So at a very rough level, that's what we need. So that's two um, iron pipe. 100 each. Oh, no. Game. I tried to click over here. Right. So we'll need two um, iron pipes. 
and that's uh, 100 times 2. Okay, what else do we need for fearsome game? Uh, we need modular frames. So these are going to be quite hard to work out. Um, let's look at our modular frames. So for these, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. how much do we need, man? Hang on, I need to go back because I've lost, I didn't even remember how many. Why is that not working? Oh, very annoying that was. So we need 10 modular frames per minute. 10? The recipe we've got only does two. Have we got alternate recipes? Let's have a look. We did, I think we did have for that. We had like bolted frame or something it was called. Well, I just triggered an enemy. I heard a weird noise. We're gonna have to go and fight some stuff before we clear all this out. Um, this is not what I wanted to do. What did I want to do? Build the MAM, and we'll have a look at those hard drives real quick. So I'm sure we had... Ooh! Diluted packaged fuel? That sounds really cool. Because it turns... Ah! Uh, because it turns this stuff straight into fuel without us having to refine it into fuel first. But it needs packaged water. Weird. That's kind of cool. That could be interesting. Um, but not what we're looking for right now. What are we looking for? Bolted frame. Here it is. So, because this guy makes five per minute, so we'd need two of these. But these guys need a lot of stuff. But again, we can make it all from iron and we've got three four pure iron nodes right so we've got loads of iron got iron coming out of our ears we can just make sure we can do it i think that's what we're going to use is this one i'm just having a quick look through the others what have we got uh they don't really seem useful bolted iron plate we that could be useful because we're making a bunch of those i can't just looking at it though is so hard to figure out <laughs> is this more efficient or better God damn it. I have no idea. I feel like this is so... Do you know what I mean? This is where it gets really overwhelming. Right. So I'm not interested in using copper. I don't even know if there is any copper here. Is there copper here? Let's have a quick look. There probably is. Oh yeah, there's one right there, look. Impure though. Not that good. And we've got some down here. Yeah, yeah, those are the ones I used on my other save. Um, okay. That's fine. So we'll disregard anything to do with copper. But let's just, let's just look. Let's take that bolted frame, because I'm going to just try it. Who knows? I can, I can try and look it up properly later on and figure it out if it is bad. But we'll take bolted frame. Come here. And I might even take that plates one as well. Uh, where is it gone? Which one was it? This one. Bolted iron plate. Although I'm not sure. This was the one we talked about before. I wasn't sure if it was any better because it uses... Let's look at it. So it makes... If you look here, so we'll get 15 per minute for this amount of ingredients. And if we ignore the per minute and just look at the numbers, so 18 iron plates each time, 50 screws each time, and he obviously does five iterations of this every minute, um, will produce three. And if we look at the default recipe, which is in this little pop-up now, we provide six plates and 12 screws to get one. So this uses more resources. It uses the same amount of plates, because it's three times the amount of plates, and you get three times the amount of output, but it's actually like four and a bit times more screws. So I don't think that one is actually that case. We'll, uh, we'll not use that one. But let's carry on trying to do our sums at the top of this tower, because I do like standing up somewhere high while I'm, while I'm just pointlessly looking at text on a screen. Um, so let's see. So we wanted... Oh, golly, where were we? So it's heavy, heavy... No, not heavy oil residue. It's heavy mod frames, please. So we need 10 of these per minute. I can make that with this. 
And I think this one is, well, let's just say comparatively, it's kind of close because the amount of screws, like the amount of iron you need to make a screw. Yeah, five. It's kind of similar, isn't it? Just all round. It's hard to do a like for like. It's kind of close. We're getting two, two and a half times the output. This is two and a half times that input. I can't figure out whether this, <laughs> these two are comparable. <laughs> but I'm going to go with it for simplicity because it means all I have to do is make a load of screws when I'm making things. I can make a load of screws because I use them in the plates. I use them in this thing, you know, and the screws can just get sent everywhere. That's my approach is going to be. And I don't have to bother making any rods for this recipe at all anymore, I don't think. Um, so that's kind of cool. So, okay, now I've got to try and figure out how much of this we need. So we need two of these per minute. So that's going to be 280 screws. And each one of these screws, how much do they need? Oh, God. So I can't... Hang on, I need to go back. I'm not thinking about this properly. <laughs> right, where's my heavy... Heavy mod frames. Right, one more time from the top. So we need 240 screws. So that's five of those constructors. So that's another five constructors we need. No, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. This was the this was the, the, the original part. Sorry, the top level of the recipe needs those that many screws. And this thing also needs screws. So two of these will be enough. For what we're, we're talking about. Of course it will, because that's what we're talking about. Two times this recipe. So he needs... 140 per minute that alternate recipe we've got makes 50 per minute oh my brain my poor brain so that's nearly 300 screws per minute so that'll be six of these constructors so we need another six of those guys at least so i'm going to change this to be 11 cast screws uh reinforced plates also needs screws No, 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 I've done it too quick again because I didn't look at how many, um, how many plates we actually needed. Jesus. So we need 10 per minute of this. We're going to use this recipe, which needs 7.5 per minute. So we need 15 of these per minute. That's three times this lot. So that means we'll need, uh, oh, we bloody need for that. That's 180 screws, so that's another four, roughly, another four cast screw constructors. So I'm just going to put them down like that. Um, and then we need 90 iron plates. So that's, and how many things do they need? Wait a second for it. Uh huh? Yeah, and we only make them as 20 per minute. So we're going to need five constructors doing that. So we're going to need five uh, iron plates, so, uh, which will be five times 30 ingots. So all of this at the moment is me just trying to calculate how many ingots we need, by the way. That's, that's, that's how exciting this is. Um, okay. So, and you can see how easy it is, right? to get lost or get something wrong as you're doing this, because it's so complicated. Um, right, so going back to this then, let's get our heavy mod frames up again. So that's looking at this. I think we've looked at all the ingredients of this now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm happy we've done that. So we've just got one part left now, which is the encased industrial beams. So, these are a bit trickier because we've got to do two separate things. And I've, again, forgotten to look at how many encased industrial beams we actually need. 10 per minute. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's like more, nearly twice what we were already making back at home. So we need 10 per minute of those. So show me the... Oh, God, show me the icon. So if I wanted to make 10 per minute, I need 60 concrete per minute. So let's add that on. Um, and actually, how many how many constructors is that? 
So the concrete, let's just click on it real quick. 60 concrete needed. Oof, that's four constructors. Four concrete constructors. Um, so that'll be four times 45, because what I'm trying to do there is count how much limestone I need for it. I mean, we could just ship the concrete as is, because you never use limestone for anything else, I don't think. Um, except for some alternate recipes that we're not using, I suppose. So, but that's that's fine. That's, I'm just going to write in, that's lime. These are all ingots. i just just making that note in case I don't finish this today. <laughs> I need to come back and I'm like, ah! Um, okay. Okay. So that's our concrete requirements. Then, if we go back again, what about steel? Oh, I've done it again though. So we need 10 of these, we said. Why does that happen sometimes? I don't understand what happened there. It's very annoying. Ugh. I need 10 of those. That means I need 30 steel beams per minute. Which means we need two steel beam constructors. And that means we need 60 ingots per minute. No, wait, 120 steel ingots per minute. Um, two uh, steel beam. Which will be two times... 60 steel um, and to make that 60 steel so if we want to make 60 per minute we need 60 iron ore so we'll need yeah 120 of each ore for that that's not too bad okay um okay so that's at least a start point. Oh, look, there's another lime over there, actually. Oh, that's very handy. It's even closer to where we need it to be. I'm happy about that, for sure. So I guess um, we are getting... Oh, we're bang on time, actually. So maybe we're, we're not going to do much. Let's just talk about the very brief plan, and I'll do it I'll do it in between episodes, I think. It's going to be a lot of building and fiddling about here. So I'm just going to do some basic mines here. We're, I'll do the sums to count up all the numbers, and maybe next time we'll have a look at the tool, to ch and we can double-check my numbers, and I'll let you know whether I was right or not. Um, but we're going to bring this stuff down this little pathway. You can see there's a little road here. So we'll bring it down here. We'll make a little conveyor... Um, stackables thing to pass all the uh, conveyors nice and neatly do the same we'll bring this limestone over here maybe make um a little sort of flat area here where we'll maybe put some smelters and uh constructors to do some of the basics we need to do and then we'll just expand that out into here where we'll maybe build a road that goes all the way around the outside so i'm going to do most of the tedious building next time and then we can work on doing the factory uh, together in the next episode i think but um this is a nice little beach isn't it i always feel a bit bad when i came in i built a massive uh, coal power plant i felt really bad afterwards because it just looks really cool I like the weird pans in the sand as well um but cool all right we're going to wrap up just a little a little tiny bit earlier than normal today then because i don't think it's worth me starting anything right now but um as ever everybody thank you for hanging out with me i will catch you very soon in the next one